हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एज ए गुप्ता फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू बैक टू द जोन ऑफ लर्निंग टुडे यू विल लर्न अबाउट वन ऑफ द थ्रेड फॉर्मिंग एंड फिनिशिंग मेथड दैट इज थ्रेड ग्राइंडिंग फ्रेंड्स द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ थ्रेड बाय द ग्राइंडिंग प्रोसेस इज कंपेरेटिवली न्यू मैथड सिंस लास्ट फोर्टी ईयर्स द मैथड ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग थ्रेड्स हैज बीन डेवलप टू हाई डिग्री ऑफ परफेक्शन सो दैट it is being accepted and used throughout the industry so friends let's see in detail about the thread grinding and its working so let's see content quickly what we will cover in this video session the first one is introduction of thread grinding the second one is method of thread grinding then advantages disadvantages and applications of thread grinding so friend let's see to the introduction of the thread grinding the principle of thread grinding is similar to thread milling grinding offers a way of to create very precise threads which enables threads to produce on hard materials thread grinding is a method of creating screw threads on a grinding machine using specially dressed grinding wheels matching the shape of the thread the thread grinding is the perfect method of threading the workpiece hardness is greater than 36 hrc or less than 17 hrc that means very hard and very soft material are threaded by thread grinding process thread grinding is also defined in highly stressed parts which are subjected to fatigue failure such as heavy automotive components threads are grounded by the contact between a rotating workpiece and a rotating grinding wheel form a form to desire types of threads so grinding is applied to external internal straight and taper threads and to various thread form the thread grinding process is complex and may vary depending on the specific requirement of the product so friend let's see the method of thread grinding the method of thread grinding are classified as shown in diagram where the grinding wheel may be of the single rib or multi rib cutter where thread grinding is classified in two process center process and centerless process center process is further classified into two category that is plunge and transverse that also known as pass over grinding and centerless is as single rib and multi rib centerless grinding then traverse is further classified as a single rib multi rib skip rib and three rib threading grinding so friends let's talk about pass over grinding which is most versatile process pass over grinding is the similar to threading process carried out on the lathe machine but here instead of single point cutting tool grinding wheel is used the workpiece is hold between two dead centers there is either a single rib or multi rib grinding wheel which may be transverse may times over the thread to cut thread up to certain depth in the process wheel turns against the rotation of the work and axial motion is provided with accurate lead screw in multi rib wheel two or more parallel grooves or ribs are cut around the periphery of the wheel and the during the long threads the wheel must be redressed for very accurate work with the help of diamond ro roll dressing tool so now let's talk about the plunge grinding it is productive thread grinding method than the accurate method as shown in diagram multi rib grinding wheel is used in plus grinding and it is longer than the length of the required thread plunge grinding is mostly used to short length of the thread like thread on the ends of the saw in this method to avoid interface the plane of the wheel is set to the helix angle of the thread plunge grinding leads more wear than the transverse grinding so now let's see the centerless thread grinding process centerless thread grinding is the most productive method of grinding screw threads that uses either single rib or multi rib wheel this process is similar to centerless grinding where plain cylindrical wheel is replaced by the groove or ribbed wheel as shown in the diagram 
screw threads are cut by the feeding the blank between the grinding and the regulating wheel in the continuous string the machine structure depends on types of grinding wheel used you can say single or multi rib grinding wheel the method of supporting the workpiece and the method of restoring the counter of grinding wheel or you can say crushing or diamond pressure so let's see the advantage there are several advantages of the thread grinding external and internal threads are produced in a highly accurate way through the process of thread grinding the second one is although thread forming is available through the use of single or multi point turning tool dies tapes whirling rings milling cutters and thread rollers the process of thread grinding is highly effective for tight tolerance parts and the hard materials the next point is the tolerance is achieved through the use of grinding machines are often in the range about the 0.0002 inch or tighter the next point is the another important advantage of our thread grinding is consistency thread grinding can also improve flexibility of production now next although the other method may require various cutting tools a wheel can be modified quickly to create a different threads so these are the advantages of the thread grinding which are very much important the major disadvantage of this method is that the heavy components is difficult to hold if there is a very much heavy component so there is required the special features to hold the component now next point systematic internal geometric error depending on profile and accurate setting high setup cost these are the disadvantages now next traces of jerking or strains from the burning possible lity now last is tendency to jerk so after advantage and disadvantage let's see the application thread grinding process is used to create variety of thread components like the options we provide include british thread acme thread j threads buttress thread any lead or lead form thread forms taper threads multiple star threads variable pitch threads trapezoidal metric and up to 32 degree helix angle threads the thread grinding was restricted to lead screw gauge work and all other hardened work where great accuracy was a requirement but with the development of multiple profile wheel and successful plunge cut method application the thread grinding machine was used to produce thread on the alloyed steel with unparalleled accuracy and finish so these are the some evolution questions kindly attempt the mind twist questions attached through the link given in the description so that's it from this session and see you in the next video with some more learning topic till keep learning keep growing and thank you